Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Chantel and this is my basic journey. Today I'm going to share with you how much it actually cost me to build out my tiny van into a tiny living space for me and my BFF Joey. this video to kind of give a realistic vision to some of you out there who might be thinking that this lifestyle is like out of your budget or out of your price range or it's just not attainable for you. I'm not going to lie you guys, I thought the same exact thing when I first got started. I was researching like on van costs and how much it costs to build out a van and I was seeing these you know $40,000 builds and $50,000 vans and I'm just like what? This is so out of my budget. I'll never be able to afford that and yeah. Heck yeah, it's a dream to have, you know, that high top Sprinter van with 300 watts of solar and, you know, eventually I might get there. But for now, I had to work with what I had and work within a budget that like actually worked for me. I also want to point out that this was done over a 12 month span and that it was not all done at one time. And so I kind of like really split it up with like what I could afford at the time and just doing little projects here and there. I actually made videos every step of the way and I made a playlist for that. Just go ahead and go check it out on my channel if you're interested in a more informative, in-depth look at my build. But this is just all about the cost right now. So I broke this down into three separate categories. Categories, the first one being the van itself, the second one being any repairs that I had to do, and then the actual build is number three. So initially buying the van is what cost me the most like outright, and this is going to look different for everyone, especially depending on what you're looking for. I've talked about this in another video, but originally I was looking into more of getting a cargo van, something like a Ford Econoline or a Chevy Express. However, those were out of my price range, especially because a lot of the times the ones that were in my price range were completely broken down and somebody had asked me what do you look for when you go and you look at these vans because I did I spent a lot of money on going and getting them inspected at mechanics and I'm gonna tell you why because I would rather spend a thousand dollars in going and getting multiple vans looked at than buying a van just because I really liked it and then ended up having to like replace the engine or replace the transmission and spending thousands of dollars down the line and so I actually took a little hiatus I like I looked for six months and then I gave up for six months and I like kind of brainstormed I was watching tons of videos at the time on like different like ways that I can make it work within my budget and that's when I came across minivan videos and this was something that like you know minivans are pretty small as you guys can see it's pretty small in here but for me I love small living I've already lived in small spaces I've lived in my car for a short time so I was kind of used to being in those small little spaces and I really like it in here to me this space is very comfortable this is very homey to me and so really like this is gonna vary so greatly to each person like what your budget is like are you buying your van outright um, I bought my van outright but I used my tax return money and I just used that little chunk of money and made that what my budget was so I found my van on Craigslist for $1,500 I went and I got the inspection done which was another 75 after they told me that yeah you're gonna have to do like this this and this to it to like make it good then I actually talked her down $300 and I ended up paying $1,200 outright for my van so after I bought the van, I had to get the title in my name, I had to get the registration in my name, and then I had to get it insured. So after all of that, the grand total for just buying the van was $1,550. Also, somebody asked me about insurance and if I had gotten RV insurance. Um, no, I just got regular auto insurance. I actually know nothing about insurance, so maybe people who have more knowledge on insurance could give some tips and tricks on insurance in the comments to help other people out because it helped me out because I know nothing about insurance. So yeah, I just got regular auto insurance from Geico and I pay $70 a month. The best part about this van is when I brought it to my mechanic, he told me it was the best one that we've looked at so far. He told me there weren't a lot of repairs that I would have to do right away. There were some repairs, which we're going to get into right now, but 
I remember learning a while back, and I can't remember who told me this, and I wish I remember who gave me this like solid piece of advice. When buying a used vehicle, plan on spending at least $1,000 in repairs. So going in with this mindset and him telling me like, oh, you only need to do these few things, and it wasn't like, oh, you just need to replace your entire engine, or you know, if you drove this down the street, it could explode, which is what I've been told before with one of them that I brought in. So I was really excited that there weren't a lot of repairs that had to be done to this van. So I'll Together, my repairs ended up costing me around $1,400. I think it was $1,421 altogether. And that might seem like a lot of money, but you guys, this was spread out over 12 months. And the things that I had to do like right away was I had to get an oil change, I had to get a wheel bearing done, and I had to get my alternator pulley done. And those things all together, I think I paid like $500 or something the first time I got repairs done. And then I didn't have to do anything again for it until like six months later. And then I ended up up having to do my spark plugs and a coil. I also got two new back tires which I ended up waiting until I had the money to do those. I also ended up getting a new battery. So the last category was the build itself and everything that you see inside of the van. I kind of broke this down into little subsections. So we have the bed which costs around $157. That included any wood, nails, or any of the like mattress materials. Um, we also have my floor, which was around 100 It includes a vinyl sheet and also a rubber mat underneath that. We have my window coverings, which are basically just fabric and Reflectix. Um, that was $64. And then we have a miscellaneous section, which was $593. This included everything from my Jackery battery, which cost the most at $250. Any of my kitchen supplies, and that includes all of my kitchen supplies. Any of the decor that you see which include the lights, my tapestries, my fake succulents, the fake ivy, and things like my water jug and the storage bins. Altogether, my build costs around $914. So if we put all three of those categories together, my grand total was $3,885. It was roughly $4,000 for me to buy a van, do all the repairs on it, and also build out the entire inside of it to make it livable for me and my dog, Joey. So there were a few things that I did not include in the cost of my van build um, because they were gifted to me, and I actually made a video about that, and I'll link that up here for you guys if you wanna go catch it. But I do have like a two-lay cargo box which is around $600 and I also have this new gas one gas stove um, which was like $50. I was also gifted a 120 watt solar panel. Um, I just didn't include these things in the final cost of my van because they were gifted to me and if it was up to me personally like I would not have bought those things. So even though I spent close to $4,000 on the build myself it was actually closer to around $5,000 if you guys were trying to exactly mimic my minivan build. So I hope that this video helped some of you realize like this lifestyle really is possible for everybody like you don't have to have a lot of money you don't have to have all the bells and whistles you don't have to have the nicest high top sprinter van you can get just you know your local soccer mom minivan that you found on craigslist and make it into a cute living space for you and your dog you know it's totally possible even on a really small budget like i said i did this over 12 months you guys this isn't something that i did in like a month or so so thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't yet, please subscribe below if you're interested in more videos about van life, becoming a digital nomad, or just traveling and adventuring. Also, if you'd like to support my channel and also donate to a charity of our picking every single month, you can join my Patreon at My Basic Journey over there. I'll put a link to my Patreon in the description box below, as well as Amazon affiliate links for any of the items that we talked about today in case you want to check them out. Thanks again for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!